Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Rogue Traitor. Uh, last time we did a, a bit of talking, a lot more talking. We've been doing a lot of talking. We've been doing a lot of talking with a lot of people, and that's okay. You know, sometimes there's some downtime in this game, and I really want to learn about these characters and where they come from and how they're doing and everything. Uh, we also talked to uh, the the new master at arms pretty cool i forgot to mention that in my ending last time i believe but now we're gonna be jumping into heinrichs we're gonna be finding out what he's all about you know he's a inquisitor he should have some cool stories so let's jump right in looks intently his head tilted oh yeah he's got plenty to say you want to discuss the nature of your mission yes but not here I wouldn't want our conversation to be gossip fodder on the bridge and in the officer's mess. Yeah, fair enough. Let's head to my bathroom. I mean, my shame. I mean, my desk. Thank you for finding the opportunity to talk. I trust now would be a good time to explain the reason for my return on board your ship. I welcome the chance to assist the Inquisition with my inquiries von kalax is that what that word is uh, <laughs> uh i do not object to you personally but i find the continuous presence of the inquisition agent at my side to be slightly unnerving you wouldn't be on my ship if i had an answer <laughs> say in the matter no uh we're willing to help lord captain your enthusiasm is commendable the interrogator uh smiles sorry uh but his eyes remain cold okay to business then the cult of the final dawn the madmen preached uh their heretical doctrine among the denizens of the coronas expanse and in instigated crimes against the throne and humanity one such crime took place in your protectorate the lord Inquis inquisitor considered it necessary to have one of his acolytes accompany the rogue trader to on his voyage uh, into the corrupted region. I also need to meet with one of my observers in the capital world of your domain. Ooh, okay, so he's got... Why would Ordo Xenos agents investigate a cult? Chaos cult. That's a good I that's a good That's good. Yeah, why? Oh, excuse me. You're well versed in how the Inquisition is organized, Wilbur. Uh yes, initially our arrival in the Coronas Expanse was uh dictated by the need to fight Xenos, but there is more. The cult is tangentially related to the main specialization. Perhaps I will be able to reveal the true, full truth someday, but right now I ask you to display humility and patience. Look at this dude. Does this look humility and patience to you? Does that scream humility and patience? Why, why would I? <laughs> A cult in my protectorate. Heinrichs, are you laying an accusation against my dynasty? The Lord Inquisitor mentioned in his letter that you would be willing to show leniency towards my actions that would otherwise as otherwise be interpreted as radical. You have spies, the Von Valencius worlds. Uh, I want to know more about the cult of the final dawn. I've already agreed uh, to give you a place aboard my ship. What else? Uh, he said he would be pretty lenient. That is correct. I should show greater tolerance for the mistakes of a newly appointed road trader. To be frank, I am surprised the Lord Inquisitor is not the type to indulge the weaknesses of soul and mind, even in someone who only recently accepted the burden of a lofty title. A chaos cult in my protectorate. Are you laying accusations against my dynasty? Chaos treads softly, Wilbur. The main danger of secret cults and sects is that they are like seeds. They can remain in the ground for decades, safe from all scrutiny, until an opportunity to sprout, grow, and bear monstrous fruit presents itself. 
The emergence of the cult on one of the rogue traitor's planets does not mean the dynasty head himself is a chaos worshiper. Having said that, it should be noted that Theodora von Valencius was famous for her loose interpretation of the freedoms granted by the warrant. Heinrichs regards you with a probing look. A bloodline can be stained by ancestral transgressions. If it is indeed so, it is in your best interest to do whatever necessary to redeem yourself, and then perhaps you will get a chance to salvage your dynasty's reputation. I don't care about the spies on my world. That's pretty obvious that they would have agents everywhere. Like, that's kind of their fucking job. I want to know more about the cult of the final dawn. Chaos worshippers, mo most of, most often agents of the throne, run into low. Most often, agents of the throne run into lone renegades, stirring up the rabble. Oh, okay. Uh, insane prophets and hysterical visionaries, preaching the end of days. A passing comment, a mutant rebellion, an onslaught of monsters. Each time they come up with new a new reason why people should prostrate themselves and quiver in fear. Prostrate. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot say that, dude. I can't believe I just said that. Uh, much, <laughs> much effort in the blood of the ro those royal loyal to the Golden Throne were <laughs> spent before we established the connection between those heretics. Very cool. However, the Cult of the Final Dawn is something greater than a gaggle of misguided seers and fortune tellers. They cleverly spread their agents all over the Corona's expanse, dis disseminating heresy among uh, honest people on Imperial worlds. There is a certain strategy to their actions that changes whenever we get close to them. And finally, they have good have enough military power to have had the two ships that we had sent after them later discovered as wreckages. The growing difficulty in making warp jumps is detrimental to us, but is unlikely to inconvenience those who engage in vile sorcery day in and day out. Heinrich sighs. After the events of Riker Minoris, uh, I suspect the cult that have built its nest inside Winterscale's domain, but the latest reports indicate it is your protectorate that is harboring heretics. Being in your entourage improves my chances of getting closer to their secrets. I've already given you a ship. What else do you need? The rogue trader should deliver me to the system that contains the industrial world of Kiva Gamma. Okay, I did have it right. Kiva Gamma is the industrial world. Okay. And then what uh, What does it say exactly about industrial worlds? An imperial world dedicated to manufacturing, mining, and refining? Okay. Uh, I will then accompany you to the surface and determine what the cult is planning and how it intends to use the resources that have fallen into their clutches. Which may very well include the blessed engines of the Adeptus Mechanicus and even the followers of the Omnissiah themselves. Okay. Bring Hyrix to Kiva Gamma. Uh, I will be frank. The answer to this question is unlikely to please either of us. The machinations of chaos usually go beyond solely inflicting countless deaths and destruction. Having their plans come to fru true come to fruition would lead to far more terrible consequences. One of the systems in the Chronix Expanse is already lost. May the Emperor protect us from watching this tragedy play out again. Let us assume Kiva Gammon has fallen to heresy, then what? Will you again purpose what... Will you again propose we destroy the entire planet? What is your... Why did your suspicions fall on Kiva Gamma? We met a space marine, a chaos space marine on Micro Minora. Do you risk running into his... Do we risk running into his brothers? 
I won't let anyone throw their weight around on my worlds, be they servants of Chaos Xenos or heretics. There's enough discussion about the arch enemy servants. Tell me about the Drukari who stole Rikid's son. Okay. Uh, why Kiva Gamma is under your suspicion? Disjointed pieces of data that finally merged into a single picture. Additionally, not long in ago, a vessel from that world arrived on footfall. The reports from the crew were confused and alarming, making me fear a planet-wide rebellion. Oh, shit. No way. I won't let anybody, anybody do that. A commendable aspiration for a person who holds the fate of billions of people and dozens of Imperial worlds in his hand, which is why you need to be ever more vigilant when looking for seeds of corruption on your planets, lest they spout sprout someday and spell doom for whatever is tangled up in their roots. Uh, we met a space marine. Uh, do we risk running into his brothers? I have no doubt it will happen sooner or later, Wilbur. Chaos Marines siding with the cult is very, very bad news. Most likely, they kept away until recently, pulling their puppet strings from a respectable distance. These traitors seldom show up alone. The best we can count on is having to deal with the, just a squad of Chaos Space Marines in the Coronas Expanse, not an entire company. Uh, tell me about the Drukari who stole their son. He winces. The Drukari, uh, one of the branches of the Alderi, an ancient and v vicious Xeno race. Okay, hold on. So Alderi are an ancient and highly advanced alien race that once dominated the galaxy, and the Drukari are a sadistic branch of the Alderi race that re revels in piracy, violence, torture, uh, which allows them to feed upon the psychic residual residue from their victims suffering okay uh those creatures are living are a living terror to ordinary people who fell pr fall prey to their raids for the simple reason that the victims are not killed outright but instead become their playthings just as you and i need air to survive the drukari require psychic energy born from torment and pain Oh, wow. Which they extract from their captives with uncanny expertise. Their ships, which are difficult to mistake for any other, arrive suddenly and undetected. Their stealth technologies greatly surpass the capabilities of standard Imperium Augur arrays. The objective of their raids is never to capture a world or a ship. No, they only are interested in the fresh victims. After filling their hordes with living captives, they disappear into the webway, a different dimension which conceals their greatest stronghold. Kormara, the dark city of the Drukari, from which none can hope to escape. What is the webway? An extra dimensional space all, also known as the labyrinth dimension, which links worlds, sectors, and stars from one end of the galaxy to the other. Huh, so that's not chaos. That's a separate thing. That's crazy. Also, I forgot to be looking at these full portraits here. They're super cool. Okay, uh, let's assume that they fall into heresy. Oh, wait, hold on. I didn't read this. I do not know why uh, the Drukari stole Raikid's son and brought about the fulfillment of the cult's prophecies. Perhaps the Xenos themselves have planned, have played into the arch enemy's designs, or perhaps Aurora's divinations, in fact, describe the Drukari's actions. There is only one thing I can say with absolute certainty. There is no alliance between the Cult of the Final Dawn and the Xenos. It is simply impossible. Okay, do we destroy the entire planet then? <laughs> he stares down on Rocket Uh, You made the decision that sent billions of souls into the grasp of the arch enemy. 
an unreasonable and unforgettably high price for a small handful of people saved by your mercy. I do consider it. Do you do I consider it a worthy exchange? I most certainly do not. Well, I make it every effort to make sure such an exchange does not happen again. Of course I will. Eey, sentimentally is a luxury I cannot afford. Sentimentally. Sentimentality. Jesus Christ, that word. I believe you. I do not believe you lack compassion. You did not stop me after all, although you certainly could have tried. I guess sometimes the good of the Imperium demands that we turn a blind eye to the fate of individual servants. You could have stopped me. He narrows his eyes. I haven't said I would not like to be able to afford such a luxury. In fact, deep down, I understand why you acted the way that way. Uh, I have yet to eliminate the understanding and acceptance within myself, but I will. Let us depart from business matters, Heinrich. You once promised to entertain me with a compelling conversation. Surely it is not. Surely this is not what you had in mind. Uh, I do remember our exchange for the long, for the time being, however, I prefer to focus on my direct responsibilities. You hear a note of regret in Heinrich's voice as he shakes his head, perhaps later after Kiva Gamma. Thank you for sparing me the time, Lord Captain. Cool. Okay. And then we go back and talk to him anyway. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, like I get that's you know, where the, uh, where that ends. But I mean, we still have other questions for him. To what do I owe this visit? Uh, what kind of gift should I give Jay? Mistress Adari is a dangerous person and dangerous people like dangerous things. Jai is probably partial to good weapons. She even has a small but enviable collection. Such a gift would not only be practical given her perilous trade, but it would also show that you have taken an interest in her as a person and her tastes. Such demonstrations are very important when dealing with info people with whom you would like to curry favor. <laughs> uh, I know nothing about you, Heinrich. Could you tell me a little bit more about yourself? <laughs> I'm usually the one interested in the pasts of those around me, not the reverse. I come from a night world, Guizorn Three. I belong to a branch of one of the noble houses until my exceptional abilities were discovered. After that, I was sent on a black ship to Holy Terror, where I was trained and I began my service for the glory of the Imperium. Can you say that that planet again? Grison 3? A night world. Feudal worlds that are home to ancient noble dynasties trained to pilot the engines of war called Imperial Knights. I was sent on a black ship, the dreadful Imperial void ships that transport psychers given up by numerous worlds as part of their little, as their <laughs> tithe to the empire. Okay. Do you remember your home planet? I do, but I have no ties to my home world now. Oh, he's going to say None it. except my first name. I left Guizorn three when I was still a yeah. child. My family disowned me, stripping me of my family name. I was given a new one by those who trained me. Even for a noble, being branded a psyker is a mark of eternal shame. I experienced that firsthand before I was put on the black ship. How did you discover your abilities? Like many psychers unaware of their curse, I found out when a strong emotional reaction triggered an involuntary response. <sighs> My great aunt had a pet grink. One day, it bit me, and I boiled it from inside out. And when my great aunt slapped me for what I'd done, I boiled her too. Jesus, that sucks. Ah, oh, sorcerer's powers are truly dangerous. I hope you have mastered your ability since then. I expected a more dramatic story. 
I don't know what I'm surprised by more, the absurdity of this story or the fact that you're capable to, of showing such emotion. You have that little control over yourself? You're simply dangerous. God, all of the- none of these are empathetic. I hope you can do it now. When I arrived on Holy Terror and was tested, I was found to be suitable material for becoming a sanctioned psyker, able to bend his curse to his own will. I can assure you that the adepts of the Astra Telepathica were right in their assessment. Astra Telepathica, the Adeptus Astra Telepathica, the special organization that finds recruits and trains the majority of the Imperium's psychers. Interesting. Tell me about the black ship. Picture a vast prison ship filled with frightened, angry psychers who can't control their abilities and who have just lost their homes and their families. Some of them were children and adolescents like I was. Some were monstrous creatures who no longer had the right to be called human, or psychopaths who reveled in their impure powers. Once, when one of the miscreants broke free, those in command simply depressurized the bay and got rid of the culprit, along with the prisoners and crew tainted by him. But even after that, I heard the echo of inhuman suffering and terror that filled that part of the ship. It grieves me to recall that episode to this day. Jesus Christ, the tortured backstory, dude, and the way he tells it makes him seem so edgy. Uh, you sent the ex you were sent to the Inquisition straight after training? <laughs> no. First, I was accorded the status of a psyker fit for service in the Imperial Guard, where I then spent several years. It was only afterward that I became an agent of the Golden Throne. Henrik stops there, clearly not intending to elaborate further. Let's talk about something else. Uh, how long have you served in the Inquisition? Since the day of my initiation as an acolyte. So, decades. How many real years it's been, it's hard to say. When I return from a journey through the warp, I often discover that much more or much less time has passed in real space. True. It is wonky. I wonder how they tell time in this world. You know? It's crazy. Um, you visited many worlds during your service, I wager. Indeed. I have visited many of the places brought to the Emperor's light and those sullied by the filth of the arch enemy. In truth, even after all these years spent visiting the various corners of the Imperium and looking beyond its borders, I still consider the Segmentum Solar to be the greatest of all humanity's bastions. Nothing compares to the majesty of holy terror, the might of Mars, the grandeur of the Segment's other worlds. What does it say about Mars? Also known as the Red Planet, it is the first and greatest forge world of the Imperium of Man and the home world of the Adeptus Mechanicus. Yes. Uh, what duties have you been carrying out for the Inquisi Inquisitor? You can't really be expecting me to answer that question. Yeah, I figured that much. I, I really did. Uh, the interrogator re returns the look and smiles, but thanks to the expression in his cold, ice cold eyes, the effort, effect is rather unnerving. Uh, for someone who's been in service for decades, you certainly look young. The first step for biomancers such as myself is to take control of the processes of their own body, including aging. <laughs> I've endured innumerable hazards in my work. If I allowed every trace of them to remain, I would look completely different today. Wow. Can he do that for other people? Gladly. Okay. Uh, because, I mean, if you want to trim me up there, give me a six pack, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it, uh, I'd pay you. Uh, you're not the Inquisitor's only acolyte, correct? <laughs> of course not. The Lord Inquisitor's entourage comprises dozens of people. The best of the best. Experts in various fields and disciplines. Some of them I know personally. Others I've never met. 
To be honest, I'm not even certain that the people I know are still alive. I used to work with other acolytes of the Lord Inquisitor, but in the Coronas Expanse, I have been working alone. Well, until now, buddy. Buddy guy friend pal. Uh, wandering amongst the scars with, uh, with, without friends or family, do you get lonely? Uh, if you're an interrogator, does that mean you hold a special position in the retinue? Hmm. Are you a cool guy? <laughs> we are not a retinue. We are acolytes. As for your question, okay. I'm closer than anyone else to the one I call my personal teacher. The Lord Inquisitor deemed me worthy of undertaking the most important and sensitive tasks requiring the attention of agents of the Golden Throne. Oh, so he's like high, high up there, dude. I didn't realize how high, high up there he was. Are there other acolytes on the Coronas Expanse? I'm pretty sure he just said that there weren't because he was working alone. Uh, do you get lonely? I rarely have the time or the opportunity to think about it. Fair enough. Narrows his eyes at you and releases a disappointed sigh. After several seconds of silence, you realize that you will not be getting an answer. Talk about something Such else. As? I want to discuss the cult of the Final Dawn. What do you? T what can you tell me about them? The cult's ordinary members are humans who have been corrupted by the Arch Enemy, traitors to the Imperium, and accomplices of chaos. Participation in the cult's rituals always entails brainwashing. Literally and figuratively. The longer cult members spend among other cultists, the less critically they think and the more closely they resemble obedient livestock, stripped of their fear and instinct for self-preservation. The worst of them go to their deaths without an inkling of doubt, ready to take hundreds and thousands of souls with them. As for those at the top of the cult's hierarchy, we have not yet managed to get a lead on all of the cult's leaders. I imagine that some of them are hiding in the depths of the Coronas Expanse, but those who are orchestrating the fanatics on nearby worlds are hiding very well indeed, or receiving protection from above. Mm. Remind me, what is your mission regarding the cult? I need to confirm the reports from my agents. According to them, one of the cult's leaders is in the Kiava Gamma segment, an industrial world within the dominion of the Fon Falancius dynasty. I hope you won't impede my investigation. You know, a little bit of an oversight. Hey, this is too sensitive to talk out here. I don't want to cause gossip. Let's go talk in your office in private. And then when we're back out here, uh, what did you just tell me in my office? And he's just like, oh, you silly head. I need to do this. It's just like, bruh, you just said it was secretive. Whatever, dude. What do you mean by protection from above? <laughs> Governors, commanders, rogue traders. History is full of those who neglect their duty to the golden throne and seek allies in the wrong places. Mmm. Seem to have been investigating this cult for some time. We discovered the first traces of it as soon as we arrived in the Coronas Expanse. Since then, the more we learn, the better we see just how far the roots of this blight extend. Destroying individual cells is pointless. We must cut this beast off at its head. True, true. Looking forward to the big boss battle. As you wish. Uh, what can you do as a psyker? The Lord Inquisitor was most insistent that I master the discipline of Santic Demonology. I use my faith and my power to crush the enemies of the Imperium. Servants of Chaos tremble at the sound of the Emperor's name uttered by my lips. I am also a skilled biomancer. I can manipulate bodily processes. Sometimes... Sometimes I resort to those skills in the course of my work, when it is necessary to make the subject of an interrogation more cooperative. Mmm, fun stuff. <laughs> very, very chill guy. <laughs> uh, I want the Inquisition to take care of Adira. Rid her of me. Oh my, rid me of her. Oh God. I want you to leave my ship. 
I must take my leave. Epic. Okay. Who's next on the list? Abelard? I'm sure you don't have a ton to say. Lord uh -huh. Captain. You can call me by my first name if you wish. Not happening. I no longer need your services as Shenasaw. What will you give a girl that you like? <laughs> I discovered that there's caches left on Theod by Theodore somewhere on uh, Duragas and Kiva Gamma. Do you know anything that awaits? It is wise for a rogue trader to have caches where they can safely store important information. And utterly unwise to share the coordinates of such caches with anyone. Even one's most trusted associates. Okay. I'm afraid I do not know how to find the caches, but I can offer some help. Your predecessor used this numeric code to deactivate certain defense systems in her service. If I know Lady Theodora as well as I think, then I'm quite certain that she left her caches well guarded. In that case, this code will be useful to you. Oh, look at him. He's thicker than I thought he'd be, dude. Okay, cool. Lord Captain. What, what, what gift would you give a girl that you liked? I used to give Genusian lilies to the girl I liked, but the species long since extinct. Now it lives only in my memory. <laughs> Ask someone else, your lordship. I am too old to remember how to charm young ladies. Oh, buddy. Lord Captain. Buddy. That's so sad. Uh, so we got the Vox Master there. We got the Helmsman there. We got Uve and Cassia there. Oh, Enrich Montag. I forgot about him because I don't know who he is. Argenta there. I think we're going to be talking to Argenta. We're going to be talking to, you know what? We might talk to the Hel the Voxmaster, the Helmsman, Argenta, then Cassia, Uve, and then this guy, whoever this is. And then I think from there, we're done pretty much, which is crazy to think of. I mean, obviously not done, but we can move on. We can actually go to the, uh, the map here and actually do something other than talking to people, which I don't know about y'all, but I'm fine talking to these people. I'm having a good time learning and, and finding out what they're like and dislike and I will say that was very sad from Abelard right there, dude. I don't, I, oh, I don't know how to riz a woman anymore. What is riz? Okay. Well, next time we're going to be talking to a few more people. We got one, two, three, four, five, five and a half with Uve. <laughs> I'll say that's kind of fucked up. I shouldn't say that. Uh, but yeah. Who knows uh, how many, we probably got like one or two more episodes of, of just talking to people, but I mean, I'm having fun, even if it's no, there's no combat, you know, but that's just me. I'm playing the game and I'm reading, but I don't know. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.